Christmas. Um, probably Happy New Year. I haven't decided what I'm doing. If I'm going to post this on Christmas Day or Boxing Day. My hair is on point. And I don't know if I'm going to post it January 1st or January 2nd. But today is Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas. I'm headed into town. Um, I have to work Boxing Day, which is alright because it's more money. You know, it is what it is. Um, it's the only stat I get for the end of the year. Um, I didn't get Christmas Day, obviously. Um, and then I'm off January 1st, which really doesn't matter to me because I don't go out. I don't do anything, but I hope your Christmas was wonderful, full of lots of love, family, presents, whatever you were asking for. Um, with, I will go, I'm going to say this this year, and I'm hoping it's true for next year. Nobody's coming. I want to give do a giveaway next year. Um, I'm going to have a better paying job. If I can hit a thousand subscribers by the end of, ooh, that's bright. But, well, let's do the beginning of summer. Um, I would like to do a few giveaways during Christmas. Um, I would love to have sponsors, and then each day we could do a sponsored giveaway. Because I'd like to be able to give my mom something, but I'd also like to be able to give you guys something. So that's my goal next year. That's, and I have some really, really expensive present ideas next year. Because one thing I am that I don't know, it just fills my heart with joy, is I'm a gift giver. That's what I do. I give gifts. I put too much thought into it. Um, this year was a little bit hard because one, my one brother said no toys. Well, for the, his youngest, I did get him one toy because he's the first boy in that family, so he deserves a toy. The other brother, I didn't know if he was coming or not. I did get one toy for him and a set of mittens because, again, I don't know what he's up to. But next year, I don't care what my brother says, they're getting toys. And then... Um, both my brother's girlfriends, I don't know what to get them. Um, I know one's very makeup-y, which is not me. I'm not, I'm not a girly girl. And so is the other one. Well, she's not so much makeup, but she is more girly than me. And I'm a tomboy. Like, I don't know anything about any of that. So, like, makeup and stuff? Mm -hmm. You want to rub some dirt in? I got you. <laughs> but, yeah, that's kind of what we did. Um... Our Christmas is small at the house because it's just me, my mom, and my dad. Um, unless I get to move out next year, which we'll see. But um, the beginning of the year is going to get really, really busy because we have a birthday on February 4th, which is the youngest of my brothers, so I have to buy another toy already. I don't really know what I want, but I kind of know what I want to get him. Um, and then the next one is... March 9th, which is, which is my mom, that one we're going to go Bernie Brown hunting. It's really hard to find a Bernie Brown that she doesn't have. Plus, I will admit, Bernie Browns are very expensive. Um, if you don't know who Bernie Brown is, he's a Canadian artist out of Pocatoks, Alberta. And he does a lot of Western stuff. He does have some sheep. There's some 4-H. There's horses. There's literally everything. Um, I think he's on his... I think he has a website, but I do know he's out of Pocatokes. Um, my mom has a pile of them. Piles of them. The one day she went out there and she actually picked up, I think, two, two pictures that she didn't have. And she didn't get to meet him because he wasn't in, which is too bad. But um, we do have to do that. I did one year get the Winnipeg Blue Bombers tickets, which... They are big Winnipeg Blue Bombers fans. Unfortunately, because we are farmers and stuff, they never got a chance to go and do it. So that's unfortunate. But um, the one thing I would love to get her, which um, social media is very powerful, but I don't know if I'd ever be able to get it. I would love to get a signed Weston Dressler jersey. Um, he is retired now, but that is my mom's favorite player ever, was Weston Dressler. Um, he was number seven at um, Saskatchewan when he played. Uh, I think he was number seven in Winnipeg. I'm not sure. I don't follow that. But that's one thing I'd love to be able to get or find is one. Um, one year I did find a signed Weston Dressler. 
wrestler, uh, just a little picture poster. So I did find that, but um, that one's a long shot in the dark. But and then we have April first. She's in uh, April Fool's baby. That is the oldest of my brother, my one brother's kids, and that's a girl. Which is I've already got her present. It's a Barbie um, boat. So like, uh, if you search a bar search Barbie boat, it's got the pink bottom or the blue bottom with the pink top. Um, it comes with a life jacket, a puppy, and two other things. Then we have the middle one, which is June twentieth, and it'll be good that I'm putting it on here so that I can go back and watch and remember when birthdays are. Um, then it's the uh, the middle, and that's a girl as well. And I don't know what to get her. She's hard. She wants a pony, but where my brother lives, he can't have a pony. And he wants she wants my horse, which is Java, which is my bay mare. Um, sorry, little lady, you can't have my horse. <laughs> that's that's Auntie Fina's horse. You can't have her. Um, so yeah, she calls me Auntie Fina because she can't say Talina, which I mean most people can. I get called Selena. Um, Talana, I got, I get called all kinds of names, so the little one calls me Auntie Fina, and then, who, oh, and then my other brother's boy, I think is July 21st, so I also have that present, which, that one I'm not sure yet, but we'll see, and then, um, the rest of us are in the fall, so it starts off with the oldest brother, which is um, October 2nd, I'm October 9th, then, oh, I lied, then my youngest brother's September 11th, we call him the terrorist because he was born on um, uh, the day the Twin Towers fell down, Remembrance Day, well not actually Remembrance Day, but um, when the ten Twin Towers were shot down. Uh, I think my brother was four or something. Anyways, besides the point. Um, so it, it's my youngest brother, he's September 11th. Then it's the oldest brother, which is October 2nd. Then it's me at October 9th. And then we have two of the biggest pain in the butts ever. Um, my dad is Christmas Eve. And my brother is Christmas Day. So my brother is greedy and he gets a birthday present and a Christmas present. Um, this year I just got him a birthday present because I didn't know what he wanted. He didn't say anything and again I don't know if he's coming. So there's that. But oh I'm almost at 10 minutes of yakking. I'm so sorry. But yeah so that's what we got to do then next year. Like I said I want to do a giveaway next year. Um, right now it's not feasible. I don't have the cash hold for it. But I would love to. I would love to give um, a giveaway one every day would be really great but it'll all depend on how YouTube's doing um, and the money I'm making in my new job and then whether or not if I uh, go back to healthcare um, after September 31st so we'll see I haven't decided yet I don't know what next year's gonna bring but I'm hoping it's going to be a year of change, a big year of change, because I am ready to be done in the current job that I am. Um, I'm not happy anymore. Uh, a lot of it has to do with the workers there. A lot of the workers, I'm just like, mm, I'm done, you know? And then one of the ladies, and I always said, the day she quits is the day I'm done. She's getting ready to retire. It's just a matter of when she puts her retirement day in. I'm gone too. I have no reason to stay otherwise. The only reason why I'm staying is because she's um, is because she's still there. Otherwise, I would have left because I just I can't do it anymore. I can't deal with the one coworker that's really really bad. Um, so I'm just ready to be done. So that's why I'm gonna go work for my for my brother. We're gonna make more money because it's thirty two fifty. I'm making twenty eighty eight now. Um, we're off contract. We have no other contract coming in. I guess the other day they went in and they sat in. They went to their separate sides, didn't even talk contract. So there's no increase in pay. And there's no increase in pay enough like that to be feasible to live anymore. Um, I basically make $2,200 a month. And 800 of it is what we're sitting in right now. So it's not feasible really to live anymore. I 
can't afford to buy a house. Um, I'm barely making payments that need to be made, and I'm barely affording groceries. Yes, I could back off my dogs onto cheaper dog food, but the problem is, is Ivy's very picky, and she doesn't do well on other dog food. I find she stins out a lot, so we have to stay on what we're on. Um, I'm also picky too. I want the best for my animals, the best dog food for my animals, um, the best treats, the whole nine yards, so that's not feasible. So, and the other reason why I'm going to this job is for the betterment of my animals. Um, now to whether or not what I'm doing with my livestock right now, I don't know. Uh, right now I can't afford a house. Uh, they can't even look at me. I went to FCC. I can't afford it. So I don't think a house is looking for next year. But we'll see what um, kind of income we bring in next year. My goal for money wise is, is on the low end I think we make 3000 um, a paycheck. Which is like substantial. That's two extra thousand dollars that I've never seen on a paycheck. So what I'm going to do is is one of the thousands goes and be put away and then I'm going to half the other one so I'm going to put 1500 away 500 on my line of credit because I do have a line of credit that's what I bought my oh you're getting hurt. you're getting hot you're spicy um anyways the other 500 is going to go into the line of credit to get that paid down because I've always said my cows are going to buy me a house and I still believe that because the cattle market is very strong We'll see what the cattle market brings next year um, because they sell in April. That's just when we chose to um, do it. We calved a little bit later and the reason why we did that is the nutrients in the grass is better for the babies. They just seem to get up better, they flourish better and let's be honest, nobody wants to be calving in the middle of freaking winter. It sucks. We've, we've done it. It is the most horrible thing to ever have to do. So that's um we also did that with the sheep and the goats now the sheep and the goats there's the market i've found is really really backing off so the market is not there it's not as strong as it has been um so that one's kind of just going down i do have spotted goats so my spotted goats are making me a little bit more money now i i keep the dolings back so i'm not making any money really off the does because i'm not selling them with the bucks i'm making good money off of i sold two last year and i was very pleased with it but anyways um yeah we'll see what the the, the market brings on that side uh and we'll just we'll see but that's what my plan is is with the money is i'm going to put 1500 away 500 goes onto my line of credit we're going to we're getting rid of that sucker it's going to be done my truck is done in september so i'm hoping well with everything it should all be done at the same time i've penciled it out as best as i could this should be paid off the line of credit should be paid off well the line of credit might even be sooner but they all should be paid off by september this is done september 9th so thank god and then we'll go from there because then i don't um, owe any money so that'll be really really great and then what else are we to do? Oh, and then off the last thousand dollars, we have the truck payment, and then we're gonna live off the rest. Now my calves, when I do sell my calves in April, I do have to use some of that money. I was gonna put it straight into savings, but I need a hard hat, and it can't have holes. Um, that's the rules of spraying. Um, it can't have, um, it has to be plastic. It cannot be um, cloth. And it's because you can't have any absorbing materials and you can't have something that'll penetrate your head. So you wear a full, um, a hard hat is best because it has to be wide brimmed and cover your entire head and the back of your neck. So a hard hat is number one. Two, now I can borrow my brother's um, overalls. So lots of them you see those big uh, fire resistant ones. That's what you're kind of looking for. Um, I could borrow my brothers, but they're way, way too big, and they're too long. Like I'm, I'm shorter than my brothers. I think my brothers are six, six two. I'm not sure, but they're they're quite a bit taller than me. Uh, I'm only five four, five four and three quarters on a good day. But um, I need to get overalls. I need to get 
his steel toe boots. Now again, I can borrow my brothers, but my brothers have like 12 to 14 inch feet. Um, mine are only nines, men's. I usually go 10 just so, so I have a little bit more room because I have a wide foot, not a long foot, but a wide foot. So I need steel toe boots and then I need rubber gloves, which he'll supply those so I don't have to buy those. So the biggest thing is a hard hat, steel toe boots, um, and actually they have to be rubber. So your baffins, and your baffins are like $300. They're so expensive, um, but they are the best quality. So we're looking at the baffins and then of course my overalls. And then I need a lunch kit. And the biggest thing is, is like, yes, I have one now. It doesn't zip anymore. It's just a cheap 31 that I got for like cheap because they had a big sale. And the reason why I got it is I need a lunch kit for work. So I'm like, well, it's cheap, fine, we'll do it. Got my name put on it. Or like, that's good enough. But I'm gonna be out in the field all day. So I need to have something that holds a lot of water, holds a lot of drinks in general. And then I'd, it's gotta be able to keep it cool. And we're looking at like snack foods mostly, um, some sandwiches, um, puddings, cookies, um, just snacks because I'm going from a job where I have hot water on access and I have um, a microwave so I uh, my big one is noodle cups and frozen dinners but but uh, we're going out into the field we're not gonna have access to that we're not gonna have access to basically anything so I need a good lunch kit so I went on Amazon and I found a $220 Yeti. It is expensive. But I, I have a Yeti cup. Absolutely love it. Um, would I love the Christmas Stanley from Starbucks? Yes. Are we going to buy it? No. No. One, you can't find it. And two, it's incredibly expensive. So I'm going to go with the Yeti. I do need another Yeti cup that I can put ice in. But I'm not too big on that. I have my blender bottles. Love my blender bottles. But... I, I have a Yeti lunch kit picked out. It's a big, it's a good size. It holds lots. Um, Yeti is very good about keeping things cold. Um, and I've always been a Yeti person over a Stanley, just preference wise. So my calves are gonna buy me that. So all said and done, I'm probably looking at like a 500 to a thousand dollar get go just to get ready for my new job. I mean, we were all there though. When I first started working healthcare, I had to buy all the freaking clothes. And those are expensive. Like when I first started, they were like 15 to 20 bucks for a top and pants. That's a piece. Now they're 30 to $50, depending on what type you get. It's incredibly expensive. Um, but that's what we have to do next year. Uh, first, I have to write my test in January. Um, so in the new year, probably after the third, I will call, I will book it in, and then basically I gotta study. So like, I kind of, for the last half of December, I'm gonna read as many books as I can, do whatever I want, and then we're on the crackdown to get that studying done, we're gonna get that test done. I picked January 22nd, because I think it's in between, um, it's on my days off, I think it's a Monday. So we're gonna go do our test. Fingers crossed, I really, really wanna pass. Um, I'm not good with tests. Basically, you put a test down in my mind go, and we're done. So we're gonna study as much as we can. A lot of it is repetitive, which is a good thing because where I work, that's the type of person I am. I'm a repetitive person. That's how I learn. I learn really, really good with repetitive things. So that's how I catch on the fastest. And that's what this is. This is repetitive. So it's like, okay, I've got that done. No big deal. We should be okay. But, well, I'm almost at 20 minutes. I'm so sorry. I'm wasting your day on just yakking. But, yeah. So that's that's our biggest things we got to do. Um, again, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year if I don't see you. Um, I will hopefully try and put up if we pass our test or not. Fingers crossed we pass it. And, yeah, I'll shut up now because we're exactly 20 minutes. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great one. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.